Have you ever been reading a novel or a short story or something like that or watching a movie or whatever and you've seen the events play out in an oddly specific way that's the only possible way things could have worked out the way they did. It's the only possible way that the, the hero could have succeeded was if uh, some number of events that all came together just right. Have you ever been, wa been watching that and going, well, that's not realistic? Well, I certainly have. And, you know, over the past while, I've been watching uh, videos from Extra History and other sources on historical events. And I've, I've found that there's been uh, an interesting um, perspective on things that I hadn't, hadn't really seen before. Uh, the Extra History stuff in particular is really good at calling these things out. Uh, but other sources are, are, have been pretty good as well. Uh, in a lot of cases, in actual history, the actual events that led to uh, the outcome that we, we have recorded would not be believable in a movie or in a novel. Uh, it, it just the, the sheer level of coincidence that went into things happening the way they did or the immense amount of luck that allowed things to go the way, way, it, the way they did. Uh, now take a look at the Cuban Missile Crisis. Um, it was probably down to a handful of people uh, down to a handful that prevented a, 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 a uh, an apocalyptic catastrophe. And if if either leader, uh, the U.S. or Soviet leader, was less even keeled, uh, had was weaker. If either leader was weaker then, uh, seriously, uh, there would have been nuclear war. If, uh, if, if the uh, back-channel diplomacy hadn't worked and in the nick of time, there would have been war. If one political officer on one submarine off the coast of the United States would have just said, yeah, sure, instead of let's check with Moscow. If any of that had gone differently, there would have been war. So when you're watching a movie and you see the entire outcome hinge on one minor character's actions, Think about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Think about that political officer that wanted to call home instead of signing off on launching the nukes. It does happen in real life that way. One functionary, one job's worth can save the world. And it's, it's, just, it's absolutely astounding. So when you're, you're seeing these, um, these spy thrillers and so on, where you get all of this improbable looking stuff going on, like in Atomic Blonde, the, the, uh, the story there is, uh, well, it's quite intense. You don't really know what's going on. It, it's it's not, not really clear what's going on until the end when they reveal a couple of little details. But you see, uh, you see how one character manages to completely change the, the, the story, completely. Or in Red Sparrow, there's a similar thing. Uh, you know, how the actions of, of the one character somehow changes the course of everything, right? It does happen that way. 
And it's not just the Cuban Missile Crisis where you see things like that. Um, World War II actually has, uh, has bits like that where um, it might have gone quite differently if uh, a certain raid on Japan, an improbable raid, uh, that sh that East, by all accounts was really a failure. If that hadn't gone the the way it did, if they hadn't managed to drop bombs on Japan uh, with no resources to do it, if they hadn't managed it, the the course of the war in the Pacific might have been different. No, Japan wouldn't have won. But it might have been very different. Uh, it was a public re relations coup. Um, it, it struck fear into the, uh, into the, the uh, hearts of the Japanese because bombs were falling near the Imperial Palace. Um, and it was galvanizing for the Allies. So maybe Japan might have been able to gain a foothold, to get some resources so that they could tech up and maybe survive longer against uh, the uh, American uh, industrial might. Uh, it might have changed things quite a lot. But that event, well, it made a huge difference uh, in, in the war. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the, that Japan would have lost eventually. Uh, it might have taken a little longer. Uh, might have happened faster. Maybe it wouldn't have required nukes. Maybe that they still would have been needed. Who knows? But it certainly affected the course of the war. Uh, Germany probably could have done a lot better in in the war uh, if they had uh, if they had done things a little bit differently. If Hitler would have been sane, actually, the um, uh, what ultimately led to the the end, the, the fall of the uh, of the Germans in France was down to Hitler's paranoia. Uh, you know, like you know, a theme actually uh, in history. Uh, Suleiman's advance into Europe, uh, you know, Ottoman advance into Europe. Uh, had they not overreached, the Ottoman Empire probably wouldn't have been, wouldn't have fallen into decline nearly as soon. Uh, if Justinian hadn't. Uh, spent so many resources uh, trying to reconquer Rome, uh, maybe the Eastern Roman Empire uh, would have weathered the plague sooner, or, or, or better, uh, would have been stronger against the Persians uh, when the ultimate uh, attack came, or maybe the attack wouldn't have come. Maybe, maybe the Eastern Roman Empire might have been able to reconquer Rome and keep it uh, had Justinian not been so impatient. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, in a lot, a lot of things, uh, you know, maybe the, uh, maybe uh, Macedonia would have uh, been ruling the Mediterranean instead of the Romans. Uh, had Alexander not overreached too fast, and had he lived uh, longer, long enough to consolidate. Uh, there, there's, you know, any number of these types of uh, events in history where the actions of a few really do dramatically change the outcome. But it's not always the guys at the top. Uh, Hannibal crossing the Alps was a huge thing. Now, granted, he lost a massive uh, amount of, uh, 
uh, resources uh, and men and so on uh, doing it. But could you imagine if you're the Romans and the Carthaginian forces appear with elephants in your backyard coming out of the mountains? Uh, can you imagine had Carthage supported Hannibal properly? Uh, can you imagine what would have happened? Uh, they might not have been wiped out by the Romans, literally wiped out by the Romans. Um, and that's just a general, right? Uh, but the Romans had their share of great generals too um, that, that pulled off amazing things. I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, uh, the guy running uh, the initial campaign to retake Rome for Justinian, uh, had he not been undermined by others, uh, things might have gone very differently. Uh, but he managed to uh, actually retake a lot of I Italy uh, before... The, the Persians decided to, to attack or something. I can't remember exactly, but, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of detail there. Uh, but anyway, uh, when, you're, when you're watching a movie or, or uh, reading a novel or something and you see some sort of uh, massive coincidence that, that comes in, you know, or some massive random natural disaster comes along, uh, say, a plague, that wipes out the citizens, like wipes out your enemy or the bad guys or the good guys. These things do happen. Um, that's probably what led to the ultimate decline of the Eastern Roman Empire. Uh, had, uh, had plague not struck Constantinople, while the empire was overextended as a result of uh, the adventures in Italy, uh, maybe uh, Justinian's successors could have done better. Um, you know, if or if they'd had somebody at the lower level that somehow manages to hold everything together. And maybe they did, and that's why the decline took as long as it did. Um, it, it's hard to say. Um, the, a lot of information is, well, not available. Like, we don't know as much as, as we maybe would like to, right? A lot was lost uh, during, uh, you know, when Constantinople, Constantinople was sacked. Uh, during the Crusades, uh, uh, seriously, um, the Crusades. Now there, there is uh, a situation that, uh, seriously, if somebody wrote the Crusades in a no in a series of novels or or in movies, and said it was fiction, you would think the author was an idiot. You would think, well, that couldn't, that wouldn't happen. But no. Uh, the Crusades were a basic clusterfuck. Um, in one of them, the Crusaders went and sacked the very city they were th sent going to save, right? Uh, or they didn't even, you know, like, or they would go after Jerusalem or what have you instead of where they, they were meant to be going. Uh, so, you know, these... Uh, these things were, uh, you know, history is full of these improbable bits of stupidity. Uh, look up, look up the, uh, look up Cleopatra's family tree. Uh, you, you know, if if you want your uh, brain to uh, to explode or implode or both simultaneously, um, like you think that uh, that sort of thing wouldn't happen, but. Uh, you, you couldn't make some of this stuff up. It's so crazy. So basically what I'm saying is, you know, the, the old adage, uh, truth is stranger than fiction. It really, really is. Uh, 
And given how much information about history we have lost over the years, uh, for various reasons, I'm sure there's a great deal more that is just totally out there, right? It, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, or wouldn't make any sense if you had the details. Like, I'm sure the Bronze Age collapse would be one of those uh, comedies of errors uh, if, if we had the actual uh, records, had records actually survived. Uh, you know, and I'm sure a lot of the uh, history uh, within uh, Africa or, uh, or even uh, much of uh, Southeast Asia and so on would be uh, similar if we had more of it available. Uh, or North American, South American, like the history of the Americas, if we had more of it available. I'm sure there'd be a lot of that stuff there too. Um, you know, if we had something that we could back it up, right, uh, with, uh, you know, like, because oral traditions get corrupted over time and embellished and so on. So, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, when I, when I, now when I see these improbable things, uh, these, these improbable coincidences somehow allowing the hero to make things work, uh, just as a result, just because the weather was just right, or the right guy screwed up at the wrong time, or, or what have you, or, or something somebody was doing a thousand miles away with no knowledge of the hero, somehow allows the hero to succeed. This stuff happens in history all of the time. It's absolutely astounding. So it turns out that a lot of these uh, uh, remarkably convenient coincidence-based plots, which readers and viewers tend not to accept as at all possible, they're probably more reasonable than anybody believes. Uh, sure, uh, you could, you'd be sitting there going, yeah, well, that's lazy writing, and oftentimes it is. But seriously, uh, if you believe in God, and you know, or some sort of prime mover of history, some deity that, that manages history, well, clearly this deity is also a lazy writer. Um, I don't believe in such things. Um, uh, basically, history is one big coincidence, but seriously, I, all of this stuff that, had, that came together to cause things to happen the way they did, uh, and, and so many of these major historical events where something minor a minor functionary often could, could could have completely diverted the entire history of the world. Uh, the American Revolution had Washington not been the leader he was. Uh, there's no way the American Revolution would have succeeded. Because the Continental Congress and the states themselves couldn't pull their collective heads out of their collective asses long enough to work together uh, and actually fund the army, right? So, uh, so much of this stuff couldn't have happened without the right coincidence of events, the right people in the right place at the right time. Uh, like, you might think the great generals in civilization are you know, kind of overstating things, but no, they're not. Uh, the great generals, they really did change history. Anyway, uh, that's my ramble here. Uh, basically, my, my point is that when you're seeing an implausible plot, is something that seems implausible, because of coincidence, or because no one minor functionary wouldn't be able to change things that way, or, or what have you. Well, look at actual history. It may actually be more believable than you think. But, authors, try not to go there in everything you write, because not everything in history falls, that, falls out that way. 
most of the time it does go pretty much the way you would expect with pretty much uh, you know cause and effect uh, people do things and the results are what you would predict the bigger army will usually win you know the you know that sort of thing but you know if, if you if the only thing keeping you from enjoying that one movie or, or novel or whatever is that the plot seems too coincidental or that one minor uh, guy uh, that somehow manages to change everything or whatever, well, maybe just let that go uh, and enjoy, enjoy the story because it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Anyway, I'm going to leave off here. I'll mention briefly, as, as I usually do, I have a Patreon. It's at patreon.com slash lostwizard if you want to support the channel. Uh, if not, that's fine too. And of course, the usual like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. <laughs>